my favourite time of the week where I get to bring you a brand new video and today is a Zara new in haul. I absolutely love watching these videos and I am so excited to be filming my own as well. I have about nine looks to bring you all with Zara new in pieces for different types of occasions. We've been through New Year's, we've been through Christmas, the sales, all of that good stuff and now is the time to kind of just unwind, chill, get over our January blues and just get delved into 2022 with our good intentions on New Year's resolutions. So if this is the kind of video that you are interested in then please hit that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment down below and without any further ado let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shida and I hope that you are all doing well. 2022 has arrived, so happy new year. I'm so glad that we were all able to bring in the new year in whatever way that we did, whether that was staying at home, celebrating with friends, family, whatever. I am happy that we have made it. So, as mentioned, I have a Zara new in haul. Before beginning, I want to mention that links will be down in the description box. Please check it out. And without any further ado, let's get into the first outfit. Okay, so here is outfit number one. It is an all black look and it's made up of quite a few pieces. So we've got this double breasted wool blend coat and it comes down to like knee length almost. And it's just a really simple, stunning coat. It has the black buttons on the side, some slight padding in the shoulder, just to give it that structure and definition and it has the notch lapels on the side it also has a vent on the back one of zara's staples it's always in the collection year after year i have the beige version of this already and it's just a really simple classic piece to have i picked mine up in a size large just to make sure that I can fit sweaters and jumpers and whatnot underneath it. This is like my overcoat. So the next part of the outfit are these jeans that I have on. Now they're not quite high-waisted, they're high-rise and I would prefer for them to come a little bit higher just to kind of cinch you in better but they are very comfortable. They are the sculpt range I believe from Zara. Classic black jeans and Finally, the bit that I'm really excited about, we have these knee length boots with a heel on the back and they are stunning. So if you have watched my previous videos, you will know that I struggle with boots. Whenever it comes to a pair of knee length boots, they just don't fit my calf. So these ones, when I first put my foot in there, they just fit like a glove and I am very happy. I will say, that my right leg fits into them easier than my left leg. So I don't know what's going on with that. Is that my legs? Is that the boots? I'm just going to accept it. They still fit very well. They're leather. They are quite expensive, to be honest. They're about 160 pounds. But when you find a pair of boots that fit, that is very hard to challenge. So yeah, this is the outfit. I have kind of noted this down as a dinner day outfit so you could have this with your besties, with your bae, whatever the setup is. This is a beautiful look and we are in that season where wearing an all black outfit is pretty much still relevant and I absolutely love it. So moving on to outfit number two. Okay, so outfit number two, let me show you. Now I'll take a step back. Here we go. So we have a leather midi skirt. It has some ruching on the side, a nice slit and an invisible zip. It's faux leather and it's got suede lining inside. So it feels really nice against your skin. 
The next part is the bag. We've got green sequins, silver sequins, like a mix of colour, which is wonderful. Sequins are really in, and they will be for the rest of the season, I believe. And a really nice thick chain. So they complement my jewellery very well. I haven't got my rings on today, but all the other bits. And it just looks really classy. Playful, but also put together. And finally, we have the sock boots. So these are in a beautiful Kelly green colour. And they have the material that makes it look like a court shoe with an actual sock. And I just think as a look, this is perfect for drinks. Wear it to a bar, you could even wear this to a club. All that stuff. And I think the white bodysuit just balances out all the other things going on very well. And just tying it off with some jewellery pieces as well just brings a look together. So this is outfit number two. I'm really happy with it. I feel very comfortable in this skirt as well. I think having a leather skirt is just kind of a wardrobe must have because you can do so much with it. You could even wear this in such a casual way. A pair of trainers, a nice sweater, a jumper and you're good to go. Right, moving on to outfit number three. So outfit number three is giving me pub lunch vibes. So in my head, I've been sat on the sofa all Sunday. My friend calls me, says, are you doing anything? I say, no. They say, come to the pub and I get up, put a blazer and go. Because this look is a co-ward of this wool sweater with a side vent that you probably won't be able to see very clearly right now and also some split um, leggings that are knitted both of these are knitted they're beautiful i first saw these leggings on nori and i had to pick them up because they just look amazing paired with some loafers or some chunky boots very classic and then I threw over this blazer this blazer is from the Charlotte Gainsbourg collection I believe and it's quite pricey it's about 80 pounds but it's a long line blazer feels really nice it's got a little bit of structure it only has one button um, a little bit of padding on the shoulders just to give it that structure but I really like it I think if you close this off you probably wear this as a blazer dress as well. I am just a fan. I have this little city bag to pair with it. It does come with a strap, but I put that inside the bag just so it gives a sleeker look. Really a fan of this little buckle here and this pipe detail running through. And finally, I have this pair of Soul Track Chunky Loafers that have a chain detailing or a buckle detailing on the top and they are pretty comfortable you know my shoe struggle everything hurts my feet but these seem to fit really nicely and they also don't seem to be rubbing so i think they create a really nice silhouette on the foot and give you a little bit of height Overall, I'm a really big fan of this outfit. I know it's another all black look, and trust me, there's a little bit of color coming through, but I just think it's such an elegant, such a classy, put together look. You just cannot go wrong with a co-ward and a nice blazer and some cool accessories as well. So this is look number three, and moving on to the next one. It's really hot in here so please bear with me it feels like a sauna in this room because of all the windows and i'm wearing a lot of layers right now so not the perfect combination because weirdly it's really sunny in london today and the past few days or shall i say months have been so gloomy i'm very grateful to have some sunshine blue skies definitely going on a walk in a bit but it's just a lot in this room right now outfit number four is a work chic look so we have tailored trousers these wide leg masculine style trousers and they fit really nicely they come up high waisted true to size and following from that we have this striped blue shirt i love a blue shirt 
contrasting against black trousers and something white underneath i think it just pulls the look in together and i have a white turtleneck underneath that is ribbed it's very thin so it's not going to overheat you but it's going to act somewhat like a thermal when the weather is not that nice outside and over that i have this wool gray coat it has big notch lapels it has two buttons on both sides and big pockets comes up quite long which i really like i think it just feels more expensive it pulls the outfit in together and then at my feet i'm wearing a pair of pointy heeled boots that have a really lovely heel and they just fit really nice as well as a look everything works well having that height means that my trousers aren't brushing on the floor and i can just see a little bit i don't know if you can on the camera i just see a little bit of the point coming through which just gives another element to the outfit as i said this is definitely something i would wear for work and i have worn similar styles to work and it's just really trendy very simple but also warm because you have different layers going on and yeah you can play around with the different shirts the different things underneath you can wear really bright colors really contrasting colors it's just a really good template to kind of build from so this is look four and moving on to look number five outfit number five is really playful so this is giving me out with the girls for drinks vibe so maybe dinner and drinks in a club bar that kind of stuff we have this beautiful mini skirt that has a dipped hemline that goes all the way around so it's shorter on the sides and a little bit longer on the front and i really like that it makes it feel a little bit more comfortable for me as I'm not really used to or into wearing short things but I really do like this and it comes up quite high it's textured in fabric so it just adds a nice bit of contrast against other materials I paired it with my Adenola t-shirt and you can see that the back is yellow and black and I think it just contrasts really nicely with this lime green and also for my footwear I paired it with these kind of strappy heel sandals. I think they're simple enough just to add a little bit of character, height and elongate your leg. And I paired it with my black furla. This outfit was definitely inspired by Sarah Ashcroft. Um, I saw her style this skirt in essentially the same way, except she had a different bag. And I just think it looks really nicely. You've got the casualness of your t-shirt paired with the fitted mini. And it's just a nice balance. When you're out with your girls, you want to look great. You want to feel good. But you also just want to be comfortable as well. And I think this embodies all of that. It looks really well put together, stylish, whilst also just comfortable. And these shoes, I swear, you can wear them all night and you will not get any issues whatsoever because they're just so comfortable. So yeah, quite the look. I really do love this. Throw a blazer over if you want a little bit of warmth or you could just kind of rock it like this when the weather gets a little bit better. Um, this is definitely a look that I will wear and I love it. So yeah, this is look number five and moving on to the next one. Outfit number six may be my favourite outfit of the haul. Now, I know that I've said that before, but I really am in love with this dress. So let me show you. It is this khaki draped blazer dress. At the top, we have this kind of blazer styling. So we have the notch lapels. We have it coming quite low down, which is really flattering on the chest. And the decolletage, you can show off your jewellery. And we have the sleeves as well, which are really cool. They have like the overlapping cuff really sweet padding i was gonna say a little bit but i just felt it and there's quite a bit of padding in the shoulder and i think that's really nice because 
Look at the silhouette that it's creating. It's creating a really nice, well-structured silhouette that could have got really like slouchy and overwhelming with how draped the rest of the dress is. So I really like that structure. I like the openness here. And then if I step back, you can see the drape detailing on the main body and the dress is a mini dress so it's not too long um but it's just really flattering and i think it works really nicely for all figures it has the look of two pockets and it does actually have two pockets here but i think they're mainly just aesthetic if i'm being honest or you could definitely put like a bank card in there anyway this is the dress i've paired it with my new furla which I am in love with. I've got a couple of new furlers, which I'm really happy because they're my go-to bag. And not really on Chanel wavelength right now, so furler is where I'm at. And also, I have my Zara kind of classic Perspex. The word, I can't remember it. My clear Zara heels. So, I love this look. I put it on and I was like, wow, this is like nothing that I have and I really am loving it. I think wearing this out for date night, imagine this in Ivy Asia, please. It will be there soon. I love this. It's really flattering. There's a lot for the figure and the color is just really gentle. I think I really like colors like this because they work just for most people and I'm loving it. Look at this. It fits like a glove. I did size up in this. I bought a large. Now, whilst it fits really nicely on my body, I don't have the biggest chest, so it does gape slightly at my chest, but nothing that some boob tape won't help, just to make sure that it stays in place. And I think that is just the issue with fashion in general, especially from stores like Zara. Can't really get anything customized unless you take it to a tailor. And I did that once and I ended up paying more for the tailoring than I did for the entire item. So I don't really know how worth it that is. I do like it overall and it's definitely something that I will be keeping just because I don't have anything like it and it just fits really nicely. So yeah, this is outfit number six and moving on to the next one. So outfit number seven is made up of two items that are quite casual. One of them is a little bit out of my comfort zone and the other is literally me in an item. Firstly, let's start off with the thing that is taking over the screen and it is this Zara extra long puffer. I love it. It has so many different kind of details to it. So it has the zip here. It has the hood, which is attached directly onto the coat. Can't take it off. And I really do like that because I just think it's so practical. I'm always going to need a hood if I'm wearing this huge coat. And also, if I can just get my sleeves. It has this detail on the sleeves, on the cuff. So you won't get any kind of wind or cold sneaking through because it's really tight on your wrist, which I really like. You could wear this when it's raining because it is water repellent and I think it's the perfect piece of outer wear to keep you really snug and warm. I could wear this with just some leggings and a top underneath and I know that I'll still be very, very warm. So I love this coat. It's honestly a classic. I think I have about two or three long puffers like this at this point and I don't think I could ever stop getting more because they are my favourite thing in my wardrobe. So yeah, this is the puffer. Let me show you the main outfit. So I will say that the puffer also has zips on the side so you can create some vents to make it more movable because I know that sometimes long puffers can be difficult to move in. But the other part of the outfit is definitely this jacket. So this is a water repellent technical jacket and it gives me a kind of like utility vibes. It has a pocket here, a pocket here, two on the side, and it has a zip that is covered by another piece of like plastic material and the collar that is cinched in and lays down flat. It's definitely cropped, 
all the way around and I think it's really flattering when paired with a pair of high waist leggings so they meet in the middle and it creates almost like a kind of jumpsuit overall vibe but it's just really nice the material feels really structured really nice and it just cinches you in it supports you as well I don't have a sports bra on underneath but I can imagine stuff like this being really supportive it does fit a little bit tight a little bit snug when you're zipping it up but once it's on it just sits really comfortably in your body and yeah this is the look this is something that I would wear going for a walk another all black look with my night trainers and my Fabletics leggings that I absolutely adore and yeah this is the look for look number seven and moving on to the final look of the haul so yeah let's go on to the next look so moving on to outfit number eight i'm going to show you the dress before i cover it up because i just think it's so beautiful and you need to see so it is this beautiful white cross back 100 percent silk dress i've paired it with some boots for now because i'm going to put the jumper over it but i would wear this with some heels if i was just wearing the dress on its own and i just love how it comes at the front this is the time where having a small chest is definitely working in my favor so yeah i really do love this i've seen this hack on the on tiktok i believe and you put a sports bra over your dress and then i'll show you what you do with it so this over and it looks a little bit funny definitely and then get my jumper you tuck your jumper into your sports bra and it creates this kind of cropped look. So, this is what we have. And this is look number eight. So look number eight is this beautiful mix up of colors jumper that I am in love with. So I've got a white sleeve, a black sleeve, a black half, a white half, alternating and then a beautiful chunky neck on the jumper pair it with some jeans leather trousers anything and everything or as i've done right now with a silk dress that i've shown you before and also with some leather boots so the boots have a square front which i think is really nice and a nice heel which is quite comfortable I also paired it with the little city bag that I showed you earlier. I just think all together, it's very classic, very nice, wear it out for dinners, wear it to work. It's kind of like a multi-purpose outfit, just to tie off the haul. And I am in love with it. This is definitely my kind of vibe. It gives the illusion of a skirt where you can maximize your dresses at home and by just throwing a sports bra over them, tucking your jumper into it, it looks as though you've tucked it into the skirt, which is really a dress. I love that technique. TikTok, thank you very much. And overall, the outfit is just very, very cute. And the jumper is very warm. So I need to go and take these off now because I am roasting. This is outfit number eight. Okay, so first video of 2022 is complete. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this as much as I have filming this. And if you have, make sure to join my little family on YouTube by subscribing, leaving a comment, and also liking. If you wanna see more, come over on Instagram. I am currently doing 365 days of outfits and I am on day six today that I will be sharing. So please make sure to follow along on that journey as well. With all that being said, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.